Five mechanics you didn't know in Dota 2. Well, you may know them, but here they are anyway. Might as well watch. You've already clicked on this video. Shallow Grave doesn't negate incoming damage. It actually heals the hero equal to the incoming damage right before the damage hits, so the hero remains at 1 HP. That's why Blade Mail will work even though it looks like you have no damage taken to reflect. Clarity must be cancelled by a damaging attack equal to or greater than 20, so it won't be cancelled by things like Ion Shell or Urn Charges. Also, some poison effects like Venomancer's Poison Sting and Orb of Venom also won't cancel it. Just an extra tidbit though, Poison Sting doesn't actually trigger any on damage effects like Blade Mail, Blink Dagger, Healing Salve, and so on. Movement speed isn't an arbitrary number. It's actually the amount of units traveled in one second. To get a better visual of this, let's turn on our range display and set it to 522, the maximum movement speed. With level 3 Shadow Dance, and pretty much any boots, Slark has max movement speed. Therefore, it should take him one second to travel to that range indicator. Knowing this is especially important if you want better judgment closing distances between melee heroes during fights. Knowing how long it'll take your guy to get to their guy is pretty handy. Blink Dagger won't blink you 1200 units if you overclick. Hold Alt while hovering and you'll see that if you blink outside the 1200 units with your Blink Dagger, you'll actually only blink 4 fifths of the way. This equals 960 units. Coming back to this whole knowing your range thing, I've learned that the width of my monitor is about 2400 units. So if my hero is in the middle, I can blink to either side for full distance. However, this isn't the case when going diagonally, as your perspective isn't actually a perfect bird's eye view. Keep this in mind when also blinking upwards or downwards on your screen. Most know that Glimmer Cape has a 0.4 second fade time and can be cast while channeling. But did you know that attacking, casting most spells, or using items during this fade time, resets it? This means that you could start fading, blink in to reset the fade time, and reduce your chance of being interrupted by not having to cast that Glimmer Cape once you're in the fray. This is useful on heroes like Sand King, but especially on heroes like Crystal Maiden, who can save that item cast time and skip right to her ultimate. Thanks for watching this first edition of Mechanics You Didn't Know. I think this is going to be something that I'm going to do regularly uh, in the coming months. I've been doing a lot more studying on Dota mechanics and uh, it's actually quite fascinating and I think a lot of people don't know enough about how Dota works or the mechanics of Dota in particular. So if you guys are on board with this, hit that like button and remember to subscribe if you're not already. In the meantime, you guys stay chill, stay frosty, and I will see you next time.